So Jesus tells a parable about the need to pray always and not to lose heart. And the parable he tells is about working for justice and the struggle that we all face in working for justice because injustice is resistant and just as persistent as those of us who want to work for justice. It's a struggle, and it's an ongoing struggle, and the question becomes, how do we keep going? How do we keep crying out, grant me justice? Jesus tells them a parable about the need to pray always and not to lose heart. People know that. They know that justice and working for justice is a hard, hard job, that it takes persistence and stamina and determination and support and encouragement. Brian Stevenson knows that. You know, Brian Stevenson, the author, the worker for the Equal Justice Initiative, the lawyer who's worked to get people who were unlawfully imprisoned out off of death row. Recently, he's written a series of articles that got quoted in one of the comments that I saw about this passage about hope and the role of hope in working for justice. He wrote about attending a release of some prisoners in New Orleans, and I will read a part of that for you. I recently went to New Orleans to celebrate the release of several of our Angola clients, including Matthew, men who survived the fields and the hole. I realized how important it is to stay hopeful. Hopelessness is the enemy of justice. There were moments of joy that night, but there was also heaviness. We all seemed keenly aware that we were not truly free from the burden of living in a nation that continues to deny and doubt this legacy and how much work remains to be done. Even in our victories, in the struggle for justice, there are Mixed feelings, challenges, and difficulty. How can we maintain our hearts and our wills and our strength and our hope? How can we keep going? Kim Long talks about it, Dr. Kim Long. She is the writer whose prayers of illumination we we often use, not always use. She was an editor for a while and of Call to Worship, and now she is the director of a conference called Just Worship. Now, in both cases, Just Mercy, Brian Stevenson's book, and Just Worship are not saying only, but just, good, right. Dr. Long, Kim Long, talks about going to visit her granddaughter, Harper, in Atlanta, her son's daughter. And one morning, early in the morning, in the guest room, waiting for the sounds of the morning to start. And what she heard through the wall was her daughter, her granddaughter, Harper, singing. She sang Edelweiss, I won't torture you with my voice. Edelweiss, every morning you greet me. Kim told this story as a part of the closing plenary in that Just Worship conference, and she said, for a moment my heart sang, for that was the song I sang to my son growing up. And then she said that was interrupted by the sound and the noise of a report of yet another 
mass shooting. And I was saddened. Later in the day, she and her son went to pick up Harper, her granddaughter, at the preschool. She's three years old. And her granddaughter looked out the window in the car as they were driving down the road, and she said, blue sky, white clouds, what a wonderful world. And Dr. Long Kim says that she, she was filled with these feelings and these emotions of both great joy at this wonderful view of the world and this great fear of this ongoing struggle that we face for justice and wondering what kind of world it is. And thinking about her granddaughter, she went on to say, she will learn that the world is full of hate, suffering, and violence. That life is sometimes a matter of unspeakable pain. I do not want her to go through active shooter drills at her school or to plan for them in her church. That's me. I don't want her to know that children can be separated from their parents at the border, that families are torn apart by deportations, that refugees from a hurricane disaster are turned away for lack of visas. She lives in a world where her friends and relatives whose skin color is darker than her own are treated differently, sometimes with devastating consequences. Jesus told them a parable about the need to pray always and not to lose heart. I believe, I want to believe, I hope you all know that the energy, the strength to keep going in the face of injustice, this ever-resistant, nasty, pernicious injustice that we face in our world, that the strength comes from our faith and from prayer, and from gathering together, and from telling the stories like the story that Rita told, and other stories of those who work against injustice. And Dr. Long says, from gathering in worship and telling the story of Jesus, of his life and of his death and of his resurrection, of baptizing children and saying, and others who come into the faith and saying, you are a child of God, of gathering together with all of us, looking differently from different places in the world, of hearing voices of people whose accents are different than our own, of affirming and believing and proclaiming that hope over and over And over again, Jesus told them a parable about the need to pray always and not to lose heart. And the way that we do that is by being together, by praying, by telling these stories of persistence, of confronting injustice. And she gets close to the end of her plenary, at the end of this conference called Just Worship. And she quotes one of her professors of worship, Robert Havda. Havda once said that a good liturgical celebration, or good church if you prefer, like a parable, takes us by the hair of our heads, lifts us momentarily out of the cesspool of injustice we call home, and puts us in the promised and challenging reign of God where we are treated like we have never been treated anywhere else. So that's what I hear in this parable. This parable assumes that we are going to be persistent and reminds us of the need to pray always to not lose heart. It's what I need to 
pray always and not lose heart. To keep being persistent. To gather in community so that in those times when my prayers get tired and I'm worn down, that the stories of the faith and the songs that we sing and the stories we tell one another and the things that we share and the hope that is proclaimed help me to go on and help you to go on and to help us to work together for justice and love and peace in righteousness. Jesus told them a parable about the need to pray always and not to lose heart. Let us pray. Gracious God, lift our hearts Remind us to tell each other the stories of the faith and of those who have confronted injustice. Let us hear again and again and again the stories of Jesus and the stories of those in the faith who have continued to work for justice and the story of this widow who persisted in Jesus' name. Amen.